guys! Today Rachel's gonna join me and we're gonna do the Japanese onomatopoeia challenge. Yay! <laughs> Cause Japanese onomatopoeia are just crazy. Like, the amount of them is just insane. Like every word. Yeah. And lots of things that don't even make sounds. Yeah, like it's just, <laughs> it's mind blowing for I guess English speakers just because we don't really have that amount of onomatopoeia in English. We want a few, but in Japanese they really come up in everyday conversation. They're very useful, so hopefully you guys can like pick up some new phrases from this video that you can use if you're studying Japanese. All right, so my friend is going to read off the list and we're gonna guess what they mean. <laughs> I think I'll know a couple of them. I know they're like, I at least know the basics. I bet you do too. No, I'm really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you're not stupid, you're not stupid. <laughs> All right, Yay. let's get started. <laughs>
and I hope you picked up some new words. I did. I forgot most of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're all oh, already. No. They're all like so similar. That's what makes it really hard for me. Yeah. Like, gocha, gocha, zara, 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 zara. It's all like two syllable things, and I always mix them up, but. I find that if you try to use them when you're speaking Japanese, eventually you'll get used to it and they'll come out naturally. I'm there with a couple of them, but not very many of them. Um, but yeah, so, oh, and also I wanted to mention something that I had mentioned on Twitter earlier. I'm working for this website that has some tools. Um, it's actually an English learning website, but because lots of their articles and tools are in English and Japanese, I think some of you guys that are learning Japanese can also use them. So I'll introduce them now, so check those out if you're interested. And make sure to check out Rachel's channel if you don't know who she is. <laughs> she also has an amazing channel where she does some very in-depth videos about Japan. So I think yeah. you guys will really enjoy those. Um, so yeah, thanks for yeah, joining thank me. You. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye! Bye. Alright, so if you go to the english.cheerup.jp website, you'll see a fortune cookie picture on the lower right hand side there. Click on that and three fortune cookies will come up. So choose one. And when you click on it, you will get your fortune in both English and Japanese. And any of the underlined words you see in English there, you can click on those and it will take you to a dictionary page. And on that page, there will be sentences in both English and Japanese. So even for Japanese learners, uh, you can probably pick up some new phrases and some vocabulary from there. So it's pretty useful. One other thing I want to show you guys from this site is the crossword puzzle. It will generate a new puzzle every time and you'll have two minutes to complete it. So what you do is you read the Japanese clues on the right there and the answers are all in English. So once you've completed as much as you can, you can click that button at the top that says Kotae Awase, uh, check your answers, and it will show you all the answers there. Even though this site is designed for English learners, I think you guys might be able to get some Japanese study out of these two things, so definitely check them out, and thanks for watching guys! Bye!